All right, let's talk about a question I get very frequently, accusations. What do you do when someone living with dementia is accusing you or accusing somebody else of stealing from them, cheating on them, whatever else, or a double whammy, both cheating on them and stealing from them? That's a great one. So, uh, well, if it's true, we've got a different problem on our hands. But if it's not true, which probably isn't if you're watching this video, what do you say? People will sometimes say to me, well, Rachel, I don't want to embrace her reality because, you know, I'm not stealing from her. Right. So this is an example of a situation where we are going to embrace their reality just enough to get through the conversation, but we're not going to say, yes, I'm stealing from you. Right. That's not the point of embracing somebody's reality. Embracing somebody's reality just means that you are agreeing with their worldview and engaging in it. So we're still going to pretty much do that. I'll give you two separate situations. So if a person is accusing someone else, a great example would be, you know, the staff at your mom's community, your mom is accusing them of coming in her room and stealing her socks, which of course, you know, is not happening. Or, oh, you know, your brother always shows up at my house and he's been stealing money from me. Or your father's having an affair and you know that's not happening. What we can do here is say, huh, that doesn't sound like something that, insert the person's name, would be doing. But let me look into it for you. That's a great solution. You're not saying no, because what happens if you say, no, dad's definitely not cheating on you? What is she going to say? She's going to say, well, you don't know, and he definitely is. So instead, we're going to say, that doesn't sound like something he would do. Let me kind of look into it for you. You're taking it on. You're taking on the problem. You're going to solve it. And you're not actually going to solve it. You're not going to do anything to try to fix the problem because there's no problem. The other one is if someone is accusing you. You can say, Mom, I would never try to hurt you like that. Let's see if I can figure out where this money is going, you know, that's disappearing from your bank account. Uh, I'll see if, and again, you're saying, you know, that's not something I would do. I would never hurt you like that. I'm sorry. You know, you can even say, I'm sorry you feel that way. You could say that too. And if the person is accusing somebody you love of something, like somebody asked me recently, um, you know, they had a client where the dad was saying stuff about mom that, you know, mom had passed away and he's going back and he's saying, oh, mom, did you know, your mother, blah, 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 blah. And the adult daughter is like sick to death of hearing this nonsense about her mother, especially because it's not true. And I said, there's nothing wrong with saying, with telling the client to say, dad, that was not my experience with mom. And I'd really appreciate it if you would stop saying these things about her. There's nothing wrong with telling somebody living with dementia, you don't feel like hearing this crap. <laughs> there's nothing wrong with it. You're still allowed to say, I don't feel like hearing this anymore. Hope that was helpful for you. Keep tuning in for these car videos and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss a video. Thank you.